I'm Heather Hooper. That's a picture of me and my daughter Meadow, which I thought would be a good way to start because people want to know why you're here, like why would I volunteer to do this? And you know, my daughter is an obvious reason that I want the environment to be healthy for her as she grows up. People think that the bay is okay. Some people are like, oh, the bay is doing fine. And maybe it's because they haven't looked into it. Or maybe it's because they don't know what a healthy bay is supposed to look like, which is really sad. And it's not doing okay. So I'm here to tell you exactly how it's doing because I want you to understand how, how it is doing and how that's connected to your health. And um, I also want you to understand why it's important. Uh, and there are other people who feel that the bay is hopelessly degraded and that there's no sense in trying to study it or save it. I have encountered people who express this, and I wanted you to walk away with some good arguments because I feel like you might encounter people like that too. So that's another one of the goals I have for you here today. And um, I wanted you to be able to pick out something that you could do. And because of the legislation at hand, which I'm going to talk about more, the pollution diet and the watershed improvement plan, it's a really good time to decide to be active and do something about the Bay. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Chesapeake Bay Foundation because there is some confusion about that. We're not the license plate people. If you want to simplify it, we're the sticker people. And the stickers always say, save the Bay, which that's, that's what we're all about. And we have three main ways we try to do it. We use science, we use activism, and we use legal action. Um, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation was started in 1967. We have a big environmental education component to our group where we take over 40,000 students, teachers, and decision makers on field education programs. Um, we also do a lot of protection and restoration. And our communication department works with media relations, community building, publication, and web services. There are 200,000 members of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, and we have 200 full-time staff and many volunteers such as myself.